What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are back with the Hennessy Venom GT 1 8 scale toy grade RC car. Alright, so I have been working on this thing on and off. Um, it took me a little bit to try to find the right size motor that I wanted to use for this thing. Um, I did read in some comments that people were saying to go with a bigger brushless motor. So I kind of didn't want to do that just for the main fact that a bigger brushless motor, something like this, this is actually a 540 HPI 55 turn. Um, was going to be way too big to put in this thing. Like, for instance, the motor that came out of this car is this one right here. So, you guys can see how small that is compared to a 540. Completely big difference. I didn't want to hack up the rear end of this thing to be able to put the motor in. So what I wound up doing, what I found was the, actually I think I found it on Amazon because it was a cheapy ESC brushless uh, system. I did go brushless, um, but I had to right, find the right size motor. Again, this is the size motor compared to this. <laughs> I couldn't hack up this rear end. So what I wound up doing, if you guys can see right in there, where my middle finger is, I have the motor. Sorry for the lighting, guys. I'm in my garage. Lighting in here is not that great. But I was able to get a, mo a brushless motor. This is a 4-pole 7200KV brushless motor. Uh, 2430 BL motor, 2430. 4-pole 7200KV. Um... I'll put it down in the description where I got it. Uh, again, I believe I got it on Amazon. I was just trying to find something cheap uh, to put in this thing. I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of money in it, but it's more to see how, you know, what you can do with a toy grade RC car. I mean, hell, why not? So what I did, I put the system in. I tested it out yesterday. I have not tested it outside. Uh, test it out in here, see how uh, it would work, see if it would work, and uh, I was having a little issue. Uh, so, the gearing was binding up because I had the mesh really, really close, so I ended up adjusting that, and if you guys can see it here, that thing was not sounding like that yesterday. So I did a little adjustments here and there so the mesh on the uh, gearing would be correct. Um, the other thing that I had to do, because we are going to be using a 2S LiPo. I was just looking to see if I could find it, but I have it put away in my uh, safety, in my ammo box. And um, the other thing that I wound up doing was this part here. I had to remake this because... The lipo is a little bit longer and a little bit fatter than these 5,000 ma 70 or I'm sorry 5,000 ma 7.4 volt 7.2 volt uh, nickel metal high drive battery that I was using the first time. Um, so I had to remake this box. So I could battery trade, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, so I could strap the battery in and it's not flying around, flapping around, whatever. So I had to redo that. All in all, I think that it's good to go. Um, I am going to test it out in here real quick uh, to see how this thing does. Um, I, again, I tested it out yesterday and it seems like this thing is going to go. So, again, in the last video, you guys saw this thing went 
4.6 or 4.9 miles an hour. All right. So let's see where we're at now. Again, 4.9. Um, so we're definitely trying to up those miles an hour with this thing. So trying out this brushless motor. If anything, I might, might <clears throat> excuse me. If anything, I might have to um, up the motor. Get a little bigger motor in here. Again, I do not want to hack up this area in here which I will show you guys what I am talking about. Let me take all this apart. All right, so I got the rear end off and uh, let me just show you guys what I mean. So here is, as you guys can see right in there, there's the motor that's right in here. And with the spacing, again, this lighting in here is horrible guys, sorry. There you go. So the spacing that I have in here, I did not want to hack up all of this on this side. Uh, there we go. So I did not want to hack up all of this right here on this side. I didn't want to hack that up to be able to get a bigger motor in here. The uh, 540 motor, a 540 motor is not going to fit in there. I would have to cut up stuff <laughs> I'd have to cut that and that would end up getting into the gearing and everything and I don't want to do that so I went with this little motor right here uh, there you go so I went with this little brushless 7200 kV motor and uh, we're gonna see how it does guys um, we're gonna see how it does so let me Put this back together again, so I could sh uh, so I could uh, show you guys what this thing does. All right, so I got the rear end back into the car. I got ourselves my Mook 5200 7.4 volt, 5200 7.4 volt 2S lipo. Uh, this ESC can actually take a 3S. It does say 2, 3S LiPo. I actually hot glued it onto that top there. As you guys can see, you can probably, you can probably see the hot glue on the sides. So I put hot glue on it to hold it in place because last time the Velcro didn't hold it at all and it started flopping around with the, um, with the quick run ESC and I kind of don't want it to be flopping around again. So as you guys can see there, move this out of the way. Uh, it does say right there, 2-3-S LiPo. So, I'm not going to try this thing on a 3-S. Uh, again, I do like this car. I like the body. And uh, I kind of don't want to break it. So, I'm just going to try it out with a 2-S. I think it's still going to be fast. Could we hit 20 miles an hour with this thing? I have my doubts. But... We could try so let me hook the motor up to this thing now and um, we're gonna hook up the lipo to it and we're gonna give it a little test run in here to see <laughs> what this thing is gonna be able to do Again, I tried it out yesterday, and it seems like it's going to rip. So, all we're going to do now is just try it again today, and you guys will be able to see what this thing can do. This is a freshly charged LiPo. So, let's do it. That remote on. Again, I'm using my FlySky GT2B controller that I got for this thing um, if I just this is just a test but I might end up using it on my uh, Monte Carlo uh, or my other Tamiya that Tamiya Tamiya that I have over here so 
remote is on. This thing is on. There you go, she's beeping. Alright, so let's see what happens. So. There you go. That was full throttle, so you guys can see. This thing is going to rip. I'm actually scared of breaking the gears in this thing. Something's going to break. Something is definitely... Nope, nope, nothing smelling bad. So, something is going to break. Uh, but I don't want to break anything now because I kind of want to get this thing on the road to uh, see what this is going to be able to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's where we're at with this thing. Uh, let me disconnect this light bulb right now. Hopefully, the next video is going to be of this thing out on the road. Uh, because I'm basically pretty much ready for it to get on the road, but right now it's what nine o'clock It's a nine eleven at night. So And it's really cold outside. <laughs> so I'm not really going to go outside right now because it's really cold and um, Again, I want it to be with you guys going out for the te first test uh, on brushless to see what this thing can do Um so, will we be able to hit at least 10 miles an hour? Maybe. Um, I'm definitely not going to be testing this thing out here in my yard on my driveway. Uh, just for the main fact that I need something that's smooth for this thing to be able to go on. And... Um, Again, there's no suspension. There's no suspension on this thing at all, as I have told you guys before. These everything's fixed. So we'll see what happens. So with that being said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, you guys will end up seeing more content that I'm going to be coming out with. So you guys keep our seeing. You guys have a good one.